Okay, we are back with our scatter plots and trend lines. And as you can see, we are still working with the scatter plot about the wolf population in Denali National Park based on the caribou population. And so in class, we have been working on making scatter plots by hand. And what we'd like to do now is to look at the process for doing that on the calculator. So, the first thing we are going to do on our calculator is go to the home screen. And this is the home screen. We can hit clear if there's anything on there. Next, we need to enter the data from this data table. And to do that on our calculator, we press the STAT key, or statistics. We are going to edit the lists. This gets us to the list, so we're going to choose number one, edit. And you notice there is a lot of data already in my list. So I need to clear that out before I can start a new problem. So to do that, I'm going to hit the up arrow, clear, and enter. And that will clear that list out so I can start fresh. So hit the up arrow until the name of the list is highlighted, plus clear and enter. So now I have a fresh screen ready to go. I'm going to put all of my X values in my list one. And to do that, you just simply type them in. You're going to type in 30 and hit enter. Then move across the screen, 34, enter, 27, enter, 25, enter, 17, enter, 23, enter, 20, enter. So if you look at the calculator screen, right now it says you're in list one and you're ready for value eight. So the last one we put in was 20 and it says that was the seventh data value we put in. So that is always a good check when you're working with a lot of data points. So if you hit the right arrow, we'll go up into list two. We need to enter the Y values here in list two, and we need to make sure that they match up. So if you look at our data table, we have a X of 30 and a Y of 66. So that point is 30 comma 66. On our calculator, it needs to say 30, 66. And we just put those in exactly like we did going across. So 79 enter, 70 enter, 60 enter, 48 enter, 55 enter, 60 enter. So always want to make sure that we have exactly the same number of values in both your X and your Y list. <laughs> 